common debt collection process. If the debtor has ignored all phone calls and reminder letters for repayment, they may receive a letter of demand. A letter of demand is simply a letter stating a legal claim, usually written by a lawyer that sets out the amount of debt, due date, and the consequences if the recipient doesn't do as stated within the time limit. If it is still ignored, the creditor can resort to legal proceedings. They may proceed to file a writ of summons in court. A writ of summons is a piece of document informing the debtor that the creditor is making a complaint against them. The writ of summons will then be served to the debtor by court. This requires the debtor to attend court on a certain date to answer the lender's claim for payment. If it is not contested, the court will make a judgment against the debtor and assess the sum of money to be paid to the creditor. If, again, the debtor does not comply with the judgment, enforcement can come as either a writ of seizure and sale or a garnishy order. When a writ of seizure and sale is issued, an officer of the court is directed to seize the movable property belonging to the debtor and arrange an auction sale for the seized property. The proceeds of the sale will be used to satisfy the judgment debt. A garnishy order from the court instructs the bank that holds funds for a debtor not to release any funds until directed by court for the repayment of a debt. After all avenues for recovering debts have been explored and proven unsuccessful, and there is at least $10,000 of unsecured debt, the creditor may commence bankruptcy proceedings against the debtor. To proceed, a statutory demand must first be served on the debtor. A debtor must make voluntary arrangements to persuade the creditor from resorting to bankruptcy proceedings and settle debts wherever possible. The debtor must make an application for an interim order to stop all further proceedings against him within 14 days of receipt of the statutory demand. Otherwise, if payment is not made within 21 days and the debtor has not applied to the court to set aside the statutory demand, the creditor can then proceed to issue a creditor's bankruptcy application against the debtor. A hearing date will be the date for the bankruptcy application to be heard in court. For all bankruptcy applications filed after 18th of May 2009, the High Court may refer the debtor to the official assignee for an assessment of the debtor's eligibility and suitability to enter into a debt repayment scheme to avoid bankruptcy, failing which the debtor will be declared a bankrupt.